So you want to be a nurse? I say do it. Why not? There is probably no better time to become a nurse than now. And if it's something you really want or you think you want it, why not at least try? There is no reason why anybody can't become a nurse if they truly want it for themselves. I think that what happens a lot of times is people spend too much time thinking about things and overthinking it and asking other people for permission to fulfill their dreams. And until we stop doing that, we're not going to learn the lessons we need and move on and start doing what's right for us. I know I did, and it took a lot. I probably wasn't somebody who most people would have thought would have succeeded as a nurse or would have even gotten that far. I did. And I have been doing this for over 22 years. I became a registered nurse um, around 2000. I had been in healthcare for about five years at that point. I had two children. I was a single parent. And I will tell you this, it was not easy, but it was possible. It just took a lot of work, a lot of motivation, a lot of time, some sacrifice, and all I can say is I'm glad that I did it. It afforded me a life that I don't think I would have ever otherwise had. So, my name's Kimberly. I have been a registered nurse for 22 years. A little over that, in fact. And most of my career has been spent in critical care in the emergency department and in intensive care. I have also done other things like surgical nursing, pre-op and post-op, GI lab, and even some, a little stint in home health care. And although I enjoyed that, that wasn't where my life's blood was taking me. But that's one of the beauties about nursing is that you can go into it and you can change fields. Keep learning and getting your education and moving on and doing things and, and occasionally change different avenues because there are so many specialties and subspecialties and advanced practice nursing. I moved on from the becoming a nurse initially and you know I have gotten four degrees since 30 years ago. And all that seems like a mouthful to say now. I look back and if I had told myself then that I would be where I am today, I probably would have never believed it. But I want to use this platform as a inspiration. I'm hoping it will be. I'm hoping to be able to talk to new nurses, people hoping to go into the field, current nurses who are practicing and are going through a lot of the struggles that many of us have gone through over the years and are currently still going through in the field. I want this to be a forum and a community where we can come together and talk and encourage one another and motivate each other and support one another because I think it's really needed. Unfortunately, when I've gone on YouTube or certain social media platforms, I have noticed that there has just been an overwhelming trend of nurses who tend to be really disgruntled, really upset. And although the sentiment has been shared around the world, I understand it. But I think we're sending a bad message that the career as a whole has failed. But it doesn't get better unless we like link arms together and try to make it better. And I think the only way we do that is by looking at the places we have failed and try to look forward and see where we can go. I want this platform to be a continued learning experience for all of us, so I hope you will continue. Leave comments, tell me what you would like to hear about. I have already recorded many, many hours of video, and I'm hoping to share those with you as we move forward. I have so much to say, and I really hope that you wanna listen, because not only has there's been some adventures along the way, there's lots of stories, and I know as a young, young girl, my mom worked in the emergency department when I was a kid. And she would come home and I, I remember the first things I would always ask her is I wanted her to tell me stories about what happened at work because I loved hearing them. And not only because I just wanted to hear stories, but it was a bonding experience between my mom and I, but it also formed a foundation for me to come to know that that's what I wanted to do. It was special, it was important, and I felt like there was something in it that was for me. And I'm hoping that maybe by sharing these stories, you can decide whether this is right for you. There's a lot of funny moments, crazy moments, insane moments, and sometimes we like tend to buffer the you know, intense moments with humor. There's a lot of that in, in nursing as well. When I say community, I don't think I would have gotten to where I am today without the family of nurses that I have encountered over the years. The family and medical, the medical field in general, I feel like it's an extended family. You sometimes spend more hours with them than you do your actual family. You spend those long hours working together and you go through some intense things. And with those intense things comes bonds. And I look back over the years and I have maintained those bonds, friendships, love struggles with those people that were the core of 
who I knew almost 30 years ago. I hope that you will stick around. I think there is so much that we can share with each other and I hope that you will like and subscribe and please, please, please sign up for the email list. I'm going to try to get that started as soon as possible. I am working on um, launching a website. There's a lot to be done here. We've got to lay the groundwork and this is called grassroots nursing for a reason. Grassroots is about getting to the foundation, which includes education, but it's about getting back to the roots of who we are as nurses, as people, as human beings, and, and digging in deep, trying to get back to the core basics of what it takes to to make the field what it is and what it can be. One of our symbols of nursing is the oil lamp, which is a lamp of light. And I want this channel to be a forum of light for each other. Sometimes the field we work in can be a really dark place and without avenues and community to share with one another, it can feel even darker, but just a small light can make things bright in a dark place. So like I said, I hope that you will sit down, take a chance, hit the subscribe button. Please leave me comments. Please remember that this is a safe space. We don't tolerate hate. We don't tolerate rude or insensitive comments. And, and let's be really respectful of one another and let's try to come together and, and see what we can accomplish here. I hope that you enjoy this. And if you do, please hit a like and let me know. Thank you so much.